Reverend Father Mbaka released prophecy. God is angry with President Mohamed Ibuari. Hello guys, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. If you are new to my channel, my name is Jennifer. In this channel, we talk about celebrities, entertainment, metro news, politics, trending videos, gossip, anything you can think of. So if you're new, please consider subscribing and also click the notification bell beside it. That way you don't get to miss out in any of my videos. To those of you who have subscribed to me before, thank you guys so much and God bless you. So I'm going to read the prophecy that Reverend Father Mbaka said what will happen on the 1st of October and the reason why he said that God is angry with President Mohammed Buhari. Reverend Father Mbaka, the spiritual director of the Adoration Ministry, Enugu, Southeast Nigeria, says there will be a heavy rainfall in Nassau Rock on the 1st of October because God is angry with President Mohammed Buhari. A report monitored on exclusive 103 by Niger News quoted Mbaka to have made this statement during this Thursday adoration ministry in Enugu when he was addressing his congregation. Niger News report that Mbaka, who predicted President Buhari's re-election, made these comments in reaction to Reverend Father Ebube Monso, who accused him of being a fake prophet. So reacting to that allegation, Mbaka said, I don't have much words to say over what Ibube Monsa said about me. I'm a prophet of God. Everyone knows that. When I profess, it comes to pass. And for someone to come from nowhere and question my authentic, that person is on the blank of extension. Apparently, displeased by the statement credited to Reverend Father, Mon saw the adoration ministry spiritual director prophesied that there would be darkness in the cloud over Nigeria for complete five hours, starting on the 12th noon till 5 p.m. on October 1st, after which will a massive rain, massive rain with thunder will follow. His words to prove my authenticity to the world and Nigerians in general, to prove that I'm a really a prophet of God. I'm going to make a prophecy that on the 1st of October coming month, there will be darkness in the cloud over Nigeria for a complete five hours. Starting on the 12th noon till 5 p.m. Then after it will follow up a massive rain with thunder. If this sign did not occur on the 1st of October, then I will resign as a prophet. Hey, Jesus. Guys, did you hear that? Did you hear what Reverend Fadambaka said? Let's wait and see till then. Although, if you ask me, I know that. But let me reserve what I want to say and finish with my reading first. Then I will say what I have to say. Speaking further, Mbaka said, I repeat again, on the 1st of October, coming months, there will be darkness in the cloud over Nigeria for complete five hours, starting on the 12th noon till 5 p.m. Then, after it will follow up a massive rain with thunder. If this sign did not occur on the 1st of October, then I will resign as a prophet on his authenticity, which has been questioned by a controversial priest. And Vira, Vira Mbaka said, as for Ebube Monso, who shall meet on the mountain. Meanwhile, so, uh, that is what Reverend Father Mbaka prophesied that is going to happen on the 1st of October. But I want you guys to remember one thing, that this is raining season right now in Nigeria. And every 1st of October, rain usually falls, you see. Okay, let me just ask this question now. If the darkness and rain, rain if it fail to appear, you will not come back and tell us another story. Or you will tell us that we prayed against it. That is why it did not happen. I don't know where you stand, Father Mbaka, because the other time you said that Buhari is a answered prayer, that Buhari is what Nigerian need. All of a sudden, now God is angry with Buhari. I don't understand. Is it also God that showed you that one that he that he's angry with Buhari? With this same your mouth, you are twisting everything around. Guys, let me play the video for you guys where he said that Buhari is answered prayer. That Buhari is what Nigeria need right now. Let me play the video for you guys so that you can listen to it. Good. Nigeria will go. People of God prayed from here and there. God answered our prayers. 
and gave us Muhammad Buhari. And I want to tell you today, God has told us that Buhari is a prayer answered. President Buhari is an answered prayer. Whether you hate him or whether you like him, Buhari is a prayer answered. The bishops of Nigeria, the Catholics prayed against bribery and corruption. And this president came with a magna charter that has to do with war against corruption. All the prayers we have been doing against corruption, God answered that prayer through a Muslim. Who decided not to discriminate? There's nothing like religious, racial discrimination in Buhari's administration. He is a man for all. He means good for this country. And we owe him support. Unalloyed support. Consistent support. Perennial support. Unstoppable support. Spiritual and otherwise. And you people are passing through chronic hunger. Joblessness. Many have died. Many are dying. Because of few people. And that's why they want to engineer you people to cause crisis. Even in this part of Igbo land. That Igbo are marginalized. Igbo people are unmarginalizable. Nobody marginalized us. So guys, you guys have listened to what he said. Honestly, I'm shocked and surprised that Father Mbaka will say such a thing. Me, honestly, I'm, I'm suspecting him. I think they paid him. Because he cannot just be saying this with his right senses. How is Buari an answered prayer? Please, I want to understand this. Hmm? How is he an answered prayer? They paid you. That's why you are, you are supporting him. Because with the situation of things now in Nigeria, people are really suffering. And you tell me that Buari is an answered prayer. I think the bargain the two of you had, he didn't pay you your money. That's why you came out to say that God is angry with Buari. I don't understand. <laughs> is it not the same you that say he's an answered prayer? All of a sudden, God is not angry with him. It's only you that is seeing everything. Hmm. Honestly, if you ask me, guys, I would just say that this Reverend Father should just fix the work of God that he has been sent to do and leave politics alone, honestly, because I don't understand him. And for what he said, there will be darkness and this. Ah, God do not allow that to happen. Oh, God, please remove every darkness in this our country. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> so, guys, that will be the end of this video, guys. I hope... I hope you like this video please if you do like this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up and remember to leave your comments in the comment section below let me know what you think about this video and if you're new please don't forget to subscribe with that being said thank you guys so much for watching and see you all in my next video bye for now